In this video, we're going to use parametric equations to simulate the, uh, the solar system. So you've got the sun in the middle, and you've got the Earth orbiting the sun every 365 days, and then you've got the moon orbiting the Earth every 31 days. So uh, let, let me illustrate it. Hang on. So, so you've got the sun in the middle here. And the Earth is uh, it's orbiting the Sun every 365 days, and the Moon orbits the Earth every 31 days. So, uh, so let's try and create this from scratch. So, hang on, new. Um, we know that um, hang on. We know that um, when given a unit circle, uh, when given a unit circle, the height here will always be sine t, and uh, the across here will always be cos t. So the idea here is to um, to get the whole angle here, which is uh, 2 pi, and then cut it up into 365 equal pieces. 306, cut up into 365 equal pieces, 365 equal pieces. So this block here represents the small angle here. So one increment of the, uh, the top, well, if you stick T here, as T as t increases, so time is 0, time is 1, time is 2, time is 3. As time increases by 1, then uh, then 1, this thing here will be 1. 1 times this thing here would mean you uh, you move the angle up by 1. As time, If time is 2, 2 seconds later, or 2 days later, 1, 2. That means you, you increase the angle by 2. 1, 2. And then if, if you have, uh, let's say, 7 days, it would be... One, one segment of the angle, two segments of the angle, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. So the idea here is to get the whole angle cut up into 365 equal pieces, and then we're going to use one segment here to represent one day. So let's, let's try and do a decimals. Hang on. Let me jump back to um, decimals. Hang on. So create our, our circle first. So that would be um, uh, cos t, comma sine t, uh, and then it's from zero to two t is from zero to two pi, and then uh, that that will give us our circle. But we we uh, we need to well we, we need to make the x the x component to be five. So stick a 5 in front of this to change the magnitude. And then we need a, a height of 2. So stick a 2 in front of the, uh, the y component. So stick a 2 in there. So we've got our, our orbit at the moment. So now um, now let's create our, our, our Earth. So hang on. Our Earth will be, um, will be, will be 5 uh, cos a. Uh, a is our slider. We're gonna add, we're gonna add a slider. So hang on. Uh, a and then comma comma uh, two sine a, and then a we're going to move it from. Um, well, if, if if you look at this, let, let's do it from zero to to two pi first. Zero to two pi. Um, so you can see that uh, this here is Earth here. Hang on. Let's call it Earth. Okay, so Earth is there. So, so you can see that um, when it when t equals zero, when a equals zero or t equals zero, it slides. So by the time it gets to two pi, it will be one orbit. But the thing is, we want to make it so that this is 365 days, 365 days. But currently, it, it doesn't work properly because look, as you slide it, it zooms around. Remember. 2 pi is one orbit, so um, so 2 pi is roughly about uh, roughly about seven. So by the time you get to around about seven, it should do nearly one orbit. See that? But then here you've got 65. You well, the trick here is to um, is to cut the angle up into 365 equal pieces. So going to the angle, so this a here is our angle. So uh, so so we we need to get 2 pi, 2 pi, cut up into 360, and let, let me explain that over, over here. So the trick here is to, um, 
to uh, to cut this up. So so we're going to get two pi, all of the, get a whole angle two pi, cut up into 365 equal pieces, and then stick a uh, a t in here. So t represents time, but in our case it's a. In our case it's a. A is our slider. So now this will simulate uh, simulate our day uh, our days. So so cut up to 365 equal pieces. Well, we need to stick this into the angle. So hang on. So uh, oh, by the way, and uh, and the a here gets multiplied to the top. So it would be two pi a, and then cut up into 365 equal. Whoops. Hang on. So bracket uh, divided by. 365 uh, and then do the same for the other one here uh, 2pi and then divided by 365 and then this should work so you've got the earth here so uh, so by the time it gets to 365 it will be exactly one orbit see that one orbit so uh, so it works now for Earth. So now let's create uh, create the moon. So the moon. Um, let's let's start out with um, with a unit circle. So cos uh, a comma sine a. So this is going to be our our moon. Hang on, where is it? There with me. Well, what is going on? Cos A Hang on, I'm thinking Oh, there should be a comma here, not a dot Okay, so now um, now this is our moon here. Hang on, uh, label this as moon. Um, so so as you slide this around, hang on, uh, cos t sine t from zero to two pi, and zero to two pi. So, so we've got our moon at the moment. The moon, um, the moon at the moment is spinning around really fast. We want we want the moon to spin around every 30, 31 days. So, looking at the moon, looking at the moon, um, get two pi pi, and then cut up into thirty one equal pieces. Thirty one equal pieces. So it's the same idea here. Hang on. Uh, Divided by 31 equal pieces, cut up into 31 equal pieces, and then uh, the same for over here. So that would be um, two two pi, cut up into 300 and uh, cut up into 31 pieces, and then that should work e every. Um, Every 31 days, it should make the moon should make one orbit, and you can see that there, roughly 31 here. So hang on, zeros here. So by the time it gets to 31, roughly 31 days, it should make one orbit. There, one orbit, nearly around there. Well, we so so now the moon the, the moon is spinning around the Earth every. Hang on, let me slow this down. Uh, get it to move in one direction. Hang on, let me slow it down. So, uh, so, so the, um, the the moon is moving around 31 days. The Earth is orbiting uh, 365 days. Everything seems to be working well. Um, but now we need to translate the moon to the Earth. So, hang on. So, uh, so hang on. Uh, we now need to move the center of the moon, the center of the orbit of the moon to the Earth. So now add. So this is our this is our moon at the moment. 
this is our moon, um, add it to the x component of the Earth. So hang on, let me put it back here. So if, if I if I nudge this, let's let's give it a few days here. So we we we, we know the the moon is working perfectly. We just need to move the, the center of the moon to the location of the Earth. So hang on. So we uh, we've got this thing here. We know the uh, the moon is working well. Let's say the Earth is here at at uh, coordinates I don't know uh, x comma y. Let's say that. Um, so now we need to move this center to this location. So to do that. Um, to do that, well, we know we know the moon is working perfectly well. So now we just need to move it across in the x uh, in the x direction. So that would be that would be this thing plus the x component plus x comma, and then we we need to move it up. So we need to uh, get this thing, add it to the y component, add it to the y component, and then that should translate this to the we, we, we can then translate the center to the location of the Earth. So hang on. So looking at the moon, so this is the moon here. Looking at the moon, we would need to add the x component of the Earth. So uh, so this is the Earth here. So we need to move, well, we need to extract the x component of the Earth. So hang on. Copy, Control C, and then over here plus control V for paste so that will move uh, we've just added the um, the uh, X components now we need to add the Y component going back to the earth highlight it copy control C and then go to the Y component of the moon uh, the Y component of the moon and then uh, plus Plus and then Control V for paste. There, so that should work. So let's uh, let's play it. See that the uh, if you pause the Earth, how do I pause the Earth? Oh, oh you can't you can't do it. Well, the Earth, uh, the Moon is spinning around the Earth every 31 days, and the Earth is spinning around the Sun every uh, 365 days. Okay.